It's time for more news, everybody. I'm Colette Franz. And I'm Kester Francis. And, and we're, we're here, here with, with this week's BTV News Update. This is BTV. Our top story this week is the pumpkin painting contest hosted by UAEM and Gavology at the University Union, where participants could paint pumpkins, eat fall-inspired baked goods, and enjoy a brief dance performance by Nuke Porf African Dance Team. Hi, I'm Colette Franz, and I'm here with BTV6 News at the Old Union's Pumpkin Painting Contest. I'm here with Melissa. She is part of the UAEM, which is... Universities Allied for Essential Medicines. And why are you hosting this pumpkin painting contest today? So we're actually hosting, co-hosting this event with Giveology. It's another group on campus that focuses on uh, providing education for children in developing countries as well. Um, and we want to host this event because we're trying to raise scholarships for nursing students in Ghana. And how much are each pumpkin for people to paint? So each pumpkin is $3. You can also enter into the contest where we have prizes in case that you do win. I think we have for the top five. You can also buy baked goods for $1. Um, who are the dance performers that we saw earlier? Uh, the dance performers is from the African dance team. I want to say their name is UAI Noah. Um, and I, I've seen them perform before at like the Bunger competition. They're amazing. The, uh, the muse for my pumpkin art was Hades from the the Disney movie Hercules, but it didn't it it didn't pan out like that. So it just turned into whatever you would call this. I feel like it looks more like an owl now, but I've heard some some different things. In sports news, the Binghamton men's soccer team won 1-0 against Albany in the American East semifinals. They advanced to Vermont where they'll take the University of Vermont for the America East Championship. The men's basketball team plays their home opener on Sunday against Army, while the women's basketball team plays their first game on Saturday at the University of Michigan. Go see Spring Awakening, produced by the theater department at 8 p.m. on November 13th, 14th, 20th through 21st and 2 p.m. on November 22nd at Waters Theatre. Student tickets cost only $10. The musical and its original Broadway run won 10 Tony Awards. Binghamton will add $600,000 each year for four years for stipends for doctoral students starting next fall. This is all part of President Stenger's roadmap plan, which is part of an initiative to get the best graduate students to come to Binghamton. The Counseling Center will be holding a gatekeeper training session on November 16th from 6 to 8 in University Union West 324. If you are interested in learning about suicide prevention and making a difference, you should attend. In light of recent events at the University of Missouri, Ithaca College, and Yale, both the Binghamton Administration and the Binghamton Student Association have documented open letters to students. To read them, please check Beeline and the Binghamton University website. On our weekly Binghamton ranking updates, Binghamton shines among veterans. U.S. News ranked Binghamton in the best 100 colleges for veterans. The rankings are determined by participation in federal initiatives to help veterans and active duty service members pay for their degrees. Get ready for Thanksgiving, Binghamton. Residence halls will be closing at 2 p.m. on the 25th and won't be reopening until 2 p.m. on the 29th. But after that, there's only a few weeks left in the semester. You're almost there, Bearcats. That's all for this week. I'm Kester Francis. And I'm Colette Franz. And this, this has, has been, been BTV, BTV News. News.